<laughs> How's it going guys? It is Fake here coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeto video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys Diamond 2 Masters, how you may consider reaching that rank yourself. Over the past couple of days I've been super busy playing a lot of Runeterra as I really, really wanted to achieve Masters. Finally getting it done felt really good. I want to say that I did climb through most of the diamond rank playing my own stuff but towards the end i decided to push myself over the finish line i would do that by playing none other than tempo sejuani i want to talk about this list in particular because you may have already seen the other video on it but this list does not feature black market merchant or pilfered goods it pretty much fights purely for the board and it's very consistent it's a great ladder deck i'd recommend it but the other deck i want to talk about too that i used to climb uh kind of through like the diamond three range up until about the uh Diamond 1, obviously, around about there before I switched over, was my iteration of the uh, uh, Tempo Endure deck. I did make some changes to my last version, which did not feature any champions. If you want to try this deck without champions, I'll leave that aside. But this is my final list that I used to kind of climb through the ranks a bit from Diamond 3 to Diamond 1. And that is pretty much going to feature Callista. And as, as Tempo Endure got a bit more popular, I noticed that Callista was kind of important in the mirror, hence why I decided to put it in. And this was the final list that I did come up with. But without further ado, we're going to have a quick game here. This is going to be a game that we um we had once we had inevitably hit Masters. This was a fun game towards the end of my stream. I'm going to showcase Tempo Sejuani here. And uh, yeah, I was just uh, a little bit loopy and having a bit of a laugh, but the game was pretty cool nonetheless. And it can showcase some of what Tempo Sejuani can do if you want to consider playing it yourself. I do recommend the one without Black and Market Merchant of Pilfered Goods, but if you are having a you know a bit of a bit of an excitement level for that kind of gameplay then i can definitely share a link for you guys a deck code to a uh, black market version merchant version as well I'll also I'll leave a link to the tempo sejuani video that we made previously so i guess it's fair that i would only share with you guys the tips and knowledge i would recommend for you guys if you want to hit masters which would be a patience i think patience is going to be key in inevitably hitting masters i actually hit diamond 380 lp three times before i was able to finally get there and let me tell you i did get tilted so uh that's gonna go, uh, roll over into b and that is to be tilt proof uh you're going to get unlucky you may hit diamond 180 lp and think that you are about to reach masters and then get blown out by the best opening hand by your opponent that's going to happen if you cannot learn to be patient or learn to be tilt proof then you're going to struggle my recommendations would be to take a break after having a couple of losses maybe come back later in the day play a bit more if you would lose a little bit more after that i would say take the day off uh, go watch TV, go outside, sit down and really just think, think, think and just think about if you're enjoying the game, first of all, because that's important option, which is going to be C. If you're not enjoying the game, don't try and push to masters. What are you doing? Uh, so just take the break, go refresh. I did that after hitting 80 LP. I like I was on stream and I was getting super tilted and frustrated and I felt I really felt like I was griefing. So I just ended my stream. I went out and I got some fresh air and I really reflected on what had happened. It's good to reflect on your games too, which is going to be D. Think about what you could have done differently and if you should have played the game uh, with different cards or like different, you know, just taking a different, the angles. It's all about the angles. My final game that I actually used to get into master was literally just a Hail Mary play early in the game. We were versing, I believe it was Karma Ezreal. And I literally just said, my opponent does not have Will of Ionia. I'm going to just go all in and see if I can win the game right now. And it just so happened that it did. So, you know, I guess it's going to be E as well. Take risks. If like a game seems like it's in a shit spot, take a risk. It might pay off. It might not. And, you know, just all, all those things put together, all of the above, I would say be patient and you'll get there. Hope you guys can enjoy the game here. Um, good luck on the ladder and I'll be seeing you soon. I'm also going to have another upload as well since I did miss out on one. We're going to do a little bit of deep gameplay, which I've been missing out quite a lot on. Thanks for the support, guys. Enjoy the game and I'll see you soon. I guess I'm just going to look for one, two, three, four drops. Looks good. Okay, so it looks like we've got just the right opener. 
Trade Omen Hawks? Question mark. Wait. Do I trade Omen Hawks with his one? Dude, what a simple but weird play. I don't know. What? He has Butcher in hand. Why would you... What? Part of me wants to block this. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't block with the Omen Hawk. He's waiting for Callisto, isn't he? How could I punish Callista? Right now, I possibly can't. Okay, now you trade the Hawk. Oh, damn it. Is there a five head player missing? Would you not consider blocking the Hawk there every time? Missing the three drops kind of sad, but we only have one. Is he about to go Super Saiyan on me? I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Uh... I'm bursting really good players today. Holy shit. I can't contest them. They're so strong. Which one was created by Yodel Grifter? Okay, so I'm pulling a free old card. Probably Sejuani. Elixir. Join us, fake. Join us in the plunder zone. No. Not with this list. Maybe we're a Twisted Fate, Sejuani. Sure. Not with this one. Give me some spicy. Nothing escapes my life. <laughs> oh, we're playing. Oh, wait, this is Legends of Runeterra. This is a game made by Riot. But... Nope. I used the warning shot there so I didn't have to attack. Yes! No. The higher rank you go, the more plunder. You would not believe it. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? He's scared that I'm going to kill him next turn, I guess. Fair enough. All right, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to give a vulnerable to this idiot. I've ignored his board state this entire game. So I can come to this amazing turn seven. I'm literally about to pop his asshole. I don't think I'll be scouting this turn. It doesn't achieve much. I'm going to just yoink you right down here. And I'm just going to swing my asshole. What's up? <laughs> nice block. Nice block. Yes. 
Literally, just show me, show me what you've got, buddy. I'm going for lethal here. Boom! I'm going for lethal here, guys. Show me the money. Yes. Show me the money. Yeah, so Giovanni's fitting into decks that don't even like, like Lucian, so Giovanni mid range. Like, it's not about necessarily leveling up Sedge to make her effective sometimes. She's a five, six mana, five, six with overwhelm and vulnerable and frostbite. That's insane value, dude. Wait. Do I not play Yordle Grifter? That was weird. Was it my turn and I just didn't play him? I didn't have mana for it. Wait. Wait! They grow up so fast. What do you mean? What? <laughs> I did take too long. I realized I roped last turn, but I thought it was his turn. I think I just really brain farted last turn. Oh well, hello. Yes, just what I needed. I. <laughs> I think I, I really tripped balls in on my last turn where I'm like waiting for the action to come back to me. It was my action. 